I'm about to play Smash. Trying to get some cash. <laughs> I'm gonna get a rash. Hey, it's Rash Balash. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's your boy Rash Balash back with another video. And this is actually gonna be a little mini series uh, for upgrading my Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 7392 in one. So it is a tablet as well. And the first upgrade I'm going to be doing is upgrading the hard drive in here. Right now, it's just a SATA M.2 drive. Um, but I'd like to upgrade it to an NVMe. Uh, this should give me way better uh, read and write speeds. I think this achieves around 3,000 uh, read. I'm um, not exactly sure the write, but uh, 3,000 megabytes per second. So that would be a nice upgrade. Also, this is a slightly bigger drive. This is 500 gigabytes as opposed to the 250 gigabyte drive in here. So it should give me a lot more storage just for everything that I'm gonna be storing on here, like the videos and photos and uh, some games that I'll be playing while I'm on the go. The next video that's going to be in this mini-series is how to game on your laptop with an external GPU. So I'm going to set up an external GPU and because this laptop has Thunderbolt, you'll be able to game on this laptop with an external GPU. So I'll be setting up that, uh, setting, up, setting that up and then also showing you the performance and everything. So we'll see uh, how that all goes. But first, let's uh, just dive in, upgrade the SSD and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so a couple uh, things that I looked up before doing this. One, the Windows key should just automatically transfer, should be on the motherboard. Uh, it's not on the hard, it's like the license isn't really stored on the hard drive. So hopefully that should work out. We're just gonna see what happens once I switch it over and then I'll plug in the media creation tool and install it. So first up, what we need to do is actually switch out the uh, SSD. So we'll need some screws. So in this case, I'm gonna need some Phillips heads. So I'm gonna go grab those right now and then I'll show you guys what's going on here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do on the back here is remove the eight screws that cover the back. So let me just do that. Well, there we go. That came out. Here we have the battery um, and then the SSD that I'm going to be replacing. So let's actually remove that and then take a look at what exactly it is. Okay, so as we can see here, this is a SanDisk SSD, um, but it was only 256 gigabytes. So, so I do want to switch this out also with this one. So, um, Let's actually unbox this one, see what we have inside, and uh, get that baby in. All right, so here we have the new SSD. Here we have the specs, some specs. So it's 200 or 500 gigabytes. Um, it's the Crucial P5 M.2 2280. Um, it's just the size of it though. Um, but because it is an NVMe, hopefully it should give me some better read and write speeds. So let's put that in here. Now we have all of that stuff in. Here we can see everything else, but uh, nothing else that we're going to be messing with in here today. Okay, so let's get this screwed in and clipped in. I guess now let's just see if it turns on. Hey, it worked! Alright, so... It did boot. Yes, I want English. Install now. But I should go get a charger. So I'll be right back while this works. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have drive zero, unallocated space, and it has 465 gigabytes of uh, storage that we can use. So this is the one that we're going to use. So next. Perfect. All right, so first step was getting the drive recognized. That worked. So we got that at least. That was way too easy. What the heck? Completely set up. Let's check. Microsoft activation. I don't see any issues with it here. All right, that was actually super easy. It's already up and running. That took about 20 minutes in total. So let's just go through the steps real quick again. Um, so first, 
you know, you have your SSD that you're going to want to upgrade to, uh, make sure that it actually will work with the laptop you're going to upgrade. Uh, and then the next thing you want to do, just open up the back, take out the old SSD or hard drive, uh, put in the new one, and you'll, um, so if you have a Windows laptop and you're doing this upgrade, the Windows key should continue over to the next hard drive. Uh, you can also back it up, you can uninstall it and then reinstall the um, Windows key on the laptop, but uh, if you're just upgrading the same exact laptop with just a new uh, SSD, and this is also applicable for computers, the Windows license is apparently stored on the motherboard somewhere. So you won't have to worry about the activation, uh, you won't have to worry about it getting deactivated. So the next video, I will be building my uh, external GPU. So be sure to look out for that one, that'll be coming soon. Uh, you know, just like all my other videos, real quick. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. This is the best day of my life. I met Rush Velasco, the really famous YouTuber.